What up, fam? It's your boy, G Ridge. What's going on, family? I got one today. I'm going to make, I got some juicy steak I'm going to put on the grill. Yes, sir. And I'm going to cut some zucchini and squash and some uh, Brussels sprouts and cut them up and put them on the grill as well, family. It's going down today. I'm also going to take some um, regular fr french fries and um, crinkle cut french fries and I'm going to bake them in the oven for like 30 minutes on 350 degrees. I'm going to sprinkle some seasoning salt on it and some complete seasoning. All right, and we're gonna make a rug for our steaks, okay? All right, as you can see, I'm starting to slicing and dicing right now. Yeah, sir, it's a nice little, quick little recipe. As you can see, I have some corn back there. Remember I cooked that corn yesterday? So I saved that corn, all right? The corn is already done, so I'm gonna put that on the grill as well. I don't wanna waste no food, okay? So we're gonna eat good tonight, fam. Yeah, sir, stick with your boy. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put a little, you can put some olive oil. I like that grapeseed oil. I love the flavors. Yes, sir. Teresa and I love it. Okay, I'm going to put a little uh, garlic salt on there. Okay, a little black pepper and some complete seasoning. We're going to mix it up real good. And then I'm going to sprinkle some complete seasoning onto the corn as well. All right. And then we're going to walk, then we're going to make a rub for the steak. And then we're going to take everything outside. All right, so here we go with our rub. We're going to put a little sea salt in this one here. Yes, sir. You put enough sea salt. You can watch me and see how much I put it in there. So you can put maybe like two tablespoons, okay? Because you're going to drown it with a, a lot more. Maybe like a half a cup of brown sugar. I like to use the light brown sugar for my rub, okay? You can use whatever you like. Then I put some paprika in there, okay? Onion and garlic powder, family. Yes, sir. I also put some... Um, some uh, ground cumin in it mm -mm. and some black pepper all right we're gonna keep it nice and simple we're gonna mix it up real good and then we're gonna make sure we, when we get outside you'll see that i'm gonna coat the steaks on both sides real good okay and before you put it on the grill you want to let it sit like three minutes that'll help the season stay on to the it'll, it'll just oh man it'll just soak right down into the steak all right we're gonna grill these things right on up that's the ground cumin all right there's several different types of rubs you can make on your own stick with your boy Okay, so here's the french fries. It's regular, regular crinkle cut french fries. We're going to sprinkle some seasoning salt on it. I had put it in an oiled pan, and I put the pan at 350 degrees, and I just baked them for 30 minutes, and it was ready. So yes, sir. Go ahead and pack these steaks good and dry. As you can see, they cut real good, family. Flip, I'm going to go ahead and pinch the rub with my fingers. I want to get it good and coated the way I want to. Made a nice, good, good steak rub, fam. I want to get it good and coated on both sides. It has a perfect taste to it. And I hope you enjoy it.
Ain't nothing like making your own little seasoning, fam, the way you can enjoy it the way you want to, you know? All right, so what I'm gonna do is take my hands, I'm gonna pat it in there. And we're gonna do it to the same, the same thing on the other side. Look at that, nice and seasoned. Okay. Look how the seasoning done got soaked into the meat. Let it sit for like three minutes after you put the seasoning on it, okay? And then you can put it on the grill when it's time to go. All right, so hold on tight. I'll be right back. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and just go ahead and put the steaks on there. Just throw them like this. Now you know this corn is already done. We're gonna go ahead and just roast it a little bit on the grill. We're gonna let that grill, you know, that grill smell get on the um, the uh, zucchini and the squash. Sir, you just gonna let that sucker just steam on there with the uh, Brussels sprouts. Oh, we're gonna get all this on there. What's up? And when it's done, see, I can put it into my little plate, but my big plate right here. Let me get something to put over that. What's up? There's nothing like that grill, that grill smell on them, that veggie fam. Ooh, wait. When it gets good and brown, then we start taking a little bit off at a time. Now right here, I have um, just water and the complete season in here, no salt. We're gonna let it steam and let the steak cook on that side. The first thing gonna be done is the corn. We're gonna flip them over, we're gonna roll them over in a little bit, and then we're gonna take them out, and then we'll spread the rest of the vegetables out. Yes, sir. So hold on tight, we'll be right back to check it. All right, here's the fries. They are ready to go, they are done. Look at that. Yes, sir. And I put them in there frozen, so don't let nobody tell you, you gotta let it thaw out. Stick with me. All right, fam, let's check it. If it don't go on in a minute. Yeah, that look real good right there, fam. Look at that. You see all the juiciness in it. You see it's cooking real good. Those are the steaks. Here's the veggies. It's, they still, still, look at that. Ooh. The smell that's coming from this grill, fam, is just, oh, it's insane. Oh, MG. We'll be back. And bam, there's my finished plate. Ooh. Fam, look at that. Look, you see the juiciness, juiciness and the integrity of the steak. Yes, yeah, sir. The grilled uh, zucchini and squash. Oh, MG, the french fries. And I put a little A1 sauce on the side. I love y'all to life. G Rich out. And your mind.